What's up, Kwong, you butt munchers? I have more of that Burt's Beeswax. My flower vase that I use is um, giving me chap lips. So I just... Normally, I don't do this until I get the offer letter and then sign it, but they just called me and told me they're preparing it, so I think I just got a job. The only time this says not gone where I got the offer letter is that one time... God, this also might be why Tiffany said I don't... She gets mad at me all the time. There was that one time where I got the offer, where, well, I got the job. The recruiter called me and said, we're getting you the offer letter. And then I got a call from HR, the VP, and the recruiter for the job I didn't even start yet. And they were like, we're rescinding the offer. And I was like, why? And they were like, no, the, the president called me because the VP is the one who hired me. And she was this cute little Asian bitch. Like Tiffany size tiny. And um, only she was like 50, but she looked like she was 20 or 30, I swear to God. Like if she didn't tell me she was 55, I would have thought she was 25. And she had these pearls and this like Chanel and she smelled really good. And after I shook everyone's hand and they were like, we're excited to have you on board. Uh, and then she was like, let me walk you out. And then she like, Apparently, there's like an executive elevator, and she like let me use the executive elevator, and dude, she was really hot for a 55 year old Asian bitch, and I'm not even gonna lie, I totally popped a chubby, uh, like I full on popped a boner, and then I left because like she was smelt really good, and then I got home. And I didn't get the offer letter. And the next day they had that conference and the president was like, I think it would be a distraction if we hired you. I saw some things between you and the vice president and I have to have a talk with her because the company is run a certain way. And I was like, fuck you talk. You can't give me this shit before you even hire me. It's retarded. You can't, you can't not hire. Well, technically. It's just, I don't think it's going to be this way because uh, what happened was all you Kwangya douches who are putting me on blast for that gun joke I made, that basically got me a job because I was doing um, for hacking shit and they were like, it's basically for a contra. Uh, I'll say this. I infiltrated the Silk Road allegedly. I was technically contracted through the DOJ. So, technically, I'm con I, it, allegedly, if I was to get this job, I would be contracted through a military um, specialized thingamajiggy. And the reason why they use contractors for this shit allegedly instead of like employees is because, like, allegedly, one time they went before Congress. And they were like, how come we don't have the world's best hackers working for us? This is like 10 years ago. And they were like, they were like, you, you make us, they were like, you make us piss test them. And they were like, we don't understand. Wouldn't the, wouldn't the privilege of working for Uncle Sam be enough to have you quit smoking marijuana? And like, this is like a four star general. It was like, no you don't seem to understand it's a it's digital digital battlefield and these people are like the the super elite snipers of the digital battlefield and all they want to do to hack for uncle sam is still smoke weed allegedly and congress 10 years ago was like that's bullshit the gateway drug to blah 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 blah, blah. let's import a bunch of fentanyl from china anyways so contractors allegedly anyways I'm keep telling you guys I'm an adult I don't give a fuck about your Kwangya bullshit I retweeted it that's how much I don't give a fuck about it Tiffany Stephanie to me I don't, I don't, I don't care if that I don't care if that you know pops your bubble or not uh, I fully support Stephanie and music and all that bullshit however 
I just wanted to know what was going on. Okay? Do you... I, I am not the type of person to be like, Oh, I'm so sorry. It was a misunderstanding. Let's have a barbecue. Please, uh, tell me all about it. I didn't mean to hurt you. No, I'm not going to do that. What I will do is if Stephanie wants to make some music, I'll buy three of your shitty beats. I think they're shitty. She'll do something with them. I don't give a fuck about it. All right? If Stephanie wants some mixing board sessions, I'll buy three mixing board sessions for Stephanie. I don't really give a fuck about it. I don't. If Dive Bars, I mean, if Dive is still pissed at me or whatever the fuck, I don't even know what I did. I'll, I'll sponsor a slide bar meet greet for all her douchey low testosterone fans in New York. I don't give a fuck. Okay? I told, I'll, I'll make it up to you times 10. I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to know what was going on. What I'm not going to do is put up with any of this fucking uh, Panda Express bullshit because literally Panda Express is the reason all this shit happened. Right? Basically, it seems like to me, Tiffany dumped Panda... Probably that's why she left her Lancome deal. Because I remember when Lancome happened, something happened. I forgot what it was around Lancome time when she was supposed to come over, but she didn't come over. So like, I started like spamming some of her booty pics at the time. I think, I think I spammed her booty pic of her squatting in the gym. And then she got off the Lancome deal. Now, the thing is, like, most she, if, if, if it was because I spammed her booty pic, Machino would have kicked her out. Beauty of Josen would have kicked her out. All the other... Celegram would have kicked her out. It seems like someone involved in Lancome got pissy that I had her booty pic. Probably that Panda Express motherfucker. Right? So Tiffany basically dumped him or told him about me back then. She was getting ready to... She told me she was... Dude, dude you don't understand. The reason why I didn't clean any of that shit up yet is because I was going to throw it all away. Um, I forgot. There was something I was going to do with furniture. And then she did that stupid, horrible shit. And it pissed me off. And I just like threw it all down. Anyways, so probably what happened was... Because, look... I was okay with her doing her dancey shit in Thailand, her her Forever Hearts tour. I was okay with her Reborn Rich shit. I was even okay with her uh, um, whatever show she was doing with the teaching people and all that. I'm the I'm the senior singer here. I'll tell you all how to sing better, wherever that was, because that ended in April. March, April, and she said she'd be back in March, April to explain it all. So probably what happened was her douchey ex-boyfriend was like, well, I'll get you a Grammy. Fuck that. If he really supported you, he'd want you to have a Grammy. And that's where it all went bad because she didn't explain it. So if she would have said, the guy I dumped wants to help me make a Grammy, it'd be great if you can come along for, for support. I would have been fine with that because, hey, Thanks for keeping her warm for me. I'm the one. Uh, I'm the one who did what you, I'm, I'm doing. What you can't do, actually hitting it right. Now I've got no problem with that, but it seems like she was trying to use my money so that douchey loser could help her make a bop because she wanted a Grammy, and he was like, "No, you can't leave me." And she's like, "Oh, he's crying again. I'll dump him in like three more weeks or some shit like that." Right? I really don't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. The whole time, by the way, she was like literally like, whatever. Anyway, so that's what I think happened, more or less. That's why I. That's why Panda Express isn't allowed. You have a problem with their history? Let me explain it better. Explain it better to me. It seems like. Let me see. Poppin' Fresh, Meek Mill, Rick Ross, Piss Pillow, Douchey Loser, uh, me, my niece. A uh, bunch of other shit. The jobs I was working. All these people. All these people. Had a shitty year. More or less. Because Stephanie dumped some douchey loser. In 2022. He has no ability to do anything. Other than watch porn and buy prostitutes. So. He was controlling her through her music. Right? More or less right? So why the fuck would I want to deal with that douchebag? I don't need Panda Express for shit. 
Why don't I just, maybe I'll make my own record company and call it actually Panda Express Records. I'll buy beats from people and mixing boards from people and I'll produce music myself. I don't really give a shit about Panda Express. That's what I mean by I support Tiffany's music or whatever I was, anyways, uh, hopefully I get a job. So peace out. I'll do more videos later. I don't give a shit.